Have you ever paused to wonder, which color paints the canvas of your soul in this very moment? What if your emotions were a spectrum, each shade revealing a unique facet of your inner world? The concept of six colored souls invites you to question, introspect and engage with the colors that shape your current emotional landscape. Are you enveloped in the shadows of anger, or does the golden glow of fear cast its light upon your soul? As we delve into this captivating exploration, you're invited to take a moment to ponder which color resonates with the whispers of your heart and the echoes of your thoughts. Let us embark on this soulful quest together, peeling back the layers to reveal the vibrant palette that lies within. Are you ready to unveil the color that mirrors your soul's current state? Let the journey of self-discovery begin. Let's explore the fascinating world of souls, where colors represent different qualities. Imagine there are six divisions based on colors, each with its own unique characteristics. Starting with the darker side, we have the black soul, followed by the blue soul and the gray soul. These three are said to bring out degenerative traits in humans. On the brighter side, we have the fiery red soul, the sunny yellow soul, and the pure white soul. These three are believed to embody purity and holiness. It's like a spectrum of colors, with some shades representing negativity and others radiating positivity. So, whether your soul shines bright like white or veers towards the darker hues, it's all part of this colorful journey of life. Imagine a person with a black aura, a dark force within. This individual is consumed by violence, anger, and a troubling lust. Their joy stems from causing harm, even if it means suffering a loss themselves. It's like a dark cloud, where personal well-being takes a back seat to the happiness derived from others' misfortune. This is akin to a person with a black soul, someone who lacks concern for themselves. A story is told of a dying man who wished for his sons to fulfill a strange last request. The elder sons, wise to their father's troublesome nature, distanced themselves. However, the naive younger son, unaware of his father's actions, agreed. The dying father urged his son to cut his body into pieces, scatter them in the neighborhood, and report the incident to the police. This macabre act, he believed, would bring him joy from beyond the grave. This reflects the nature of a black soul, indifferent to personal consequences, finding happiness in causing chaos and pain. It illustrates a state where one's well-being is sacrificed for the suffering of others. Contrastingly, there's an ancient story of a devoted man praying for a special boon from God. God granted his wish, but with a twist, whatever he asked for would be granted twofold to his neighbors. Faced with this dilemma, the man sought advice from a lawyer. The solution? Ask for things that trouble his neighbors. So he requested to lose one eye, causing both neighbors to lose two each. He even dug a well in front of his house, leading to two wells in front of his neighbors. In his neighbor's misfortune, he found joy. This story exemplifies the lowest state of a soul, one driven by the suffering of others as its only source of happiness. Such a person lives in illusion, unaware that what they give to the world is what comes back to them. It emphasizes the profound truth that the world operates like an echo, echoing our actions back to us. Let's dive into Blue Soul. This soul type is defined by a person who seeks to harm others without causing harm to themselves. They fall into the category of those we often label as selfish, always prioritizing their well-being. The Blue Soul is someone who may harm you if it benefits them, yet they steer clear of causing harm to themselves. It's a delicate balance of self-interest where their actions are driven by personal gain. Now, let me spin a story to illustrate this concept. Once upon a time in a quaint town, there lived a man named Ethan with a distinct blue aura surrounding him. Ethan was known for his meticulous ways of ensuring personal success without compromising his own well-being. He owned a small business in the heart of the town, and his primary concern was always centered around his own prosperity. One day, 
a struggling artist named Lily approached Ethan for some financial assistance. Lily was facing tough times, desperately seeking a way to showcase her talent. Seeing an opportunity for personal gain, Ethan agreed to help, but with a catch. He provided the funds, but only if Lily created a mural on the wall of his business, believing it would attract more customers. Lily, grateful for the support, poured her heart into the mural, bringing vibrancy to Ethan's business. The plan worked, and soon the town was buzzing about the beautiful artwork. Ethan's profits soared, and he reveled in the success brought about by Lily's talent. However, as time passed, Lily faced a downturn in her artistic endeavors, and her financial struggles resurfaced. Ethan, noticing the decline in the mural's impact, severed ties with Lily, no longer finding her beneficial to his interests. In the process, he left Lily feeling abandoned and used. This tale of Ethan and Lily captures the essence of the blue soul, a person driven by self-interest, willing to harm others for personal gain, yet avoiding harm to themselves. It serves as a cautionary reminder that navigating such blue soul tendencies may come at a cost to meaningful connections and genuine relationships. Let's explore the third soul known as the grey soul, where a person's nature leans towards selflessness and a growing sense of detachment. These individuals have a unique quality. Even if they endure a bit of harm themselves, they refrain from causing harm to others. They are willing to bear their own suffering, but maintain a compassionate stance towards those around them. The grey soul marks a significant step towards spirituality, symbolizing a doorway to altruism, love, kindness and compassion. However, this level of spirituality is still in its early stages, offering just a glimpse of these virtues. In this state, individuals begin to pay attention to others, thinking beyond their immediate needs. Yet this attention is not entirely selfless. Consider a scenario where someone is married. A person with a grey soul would step in to protect their spouse if attacked. However, this protective instinct stems from the personal connection, my wife. The altruism expands, but there is still a sense of possession, a recognition that this person is important for their own happiness. This love and concern extend to others, but if they discover that their spouse has been unfaithful or attached to someone else, all compassion, love and kindness may dissipate. There is a deep-rooted selfishness, as the value placed on relationships is ultimately for the individual's benefit. The grey soul is a fascinating stage where selflessness begins to sprout, yet the journey towards true altruism and spiritual growth is still unfolding. It highlights the delicate balance between caring for others and acknowledging the personal attachments that shape our perspectives. Let's explore the enchanting realm of the fourth soul, known as the Red Soul. In this stage, love takes center stage, but not just any love, an intensely deep and selfless love. This isn't about using others. Instead, it's solely about giving. The life of a person with a Red Soul revolves around this profound love. The Red Soul emerges when selfishness is completely eradicated from one's life and ego is shattered. It's like a fire that burns away the ego, leaving room for a transformative love to flourish. The day you start living with the mindset of I am not, a wave of righteousness begins to rise within you. The more you let go of the I, the more righteous you become. The concept of I is inherently linked to harming others. It thrives on suppressing others to bolster itself. Religion, in a spiritual sense, starts when we bid farewell to ego. It's a moment where you consciously decide to abandon the ambitions fueled by your ego. The competitive spirit, the desire to defeat, destroy and suppress others. It marks the end of the relentless race to be first. Even if you find yourself standing last, there is a newfound happiness in letting go of the need to compete. Now, let's delve into a story to illustrate this profound transformation. In a small village, there lived a man named Sam. Sam was known for his relentless ambition and desire to be the best in everything he did. He competed fiercely with his neighbors, 
always striving to outshine them. This intense competition fueled his ego, making him feel superior but isolated. One day, a wise elder in the village shared insights about the red soul and the power of letting go of ego. Sam, intrigued by the idea, decided to embark on a journey to transform his life. He began by relinquishing the need to defeat others, shifting his focus from competition to collaboration. As Sam embraced the concept of I am not, he found an extraordinary love blossoming within him, a love centered around giving without expecting anything in return. His life became a beacon of selflessness and the once intense desire to be first faded away. The village noticed the remarkable change in Sam. He became a source of inspiration, demonstrating that true fulfillment arises not from crushing others underfoot, but from embracing a love that transcends ego. Sam's story echoes the transformative power of the Red Soul, reminding us that real happiness is found in selfless giving, not in the pursuit of superiority. Now let's delve into the intriguing realm of the fifth soul, the yellow soul. Imagine the transformative journey from the fiery red soul to the serene yellow soul. In the sunrise of spiritual growth, just like the sun changing hues from red to yellow, the ego begins to fade away. In this state, it's like the transition from a vibrant sunrise to the subtle glow of a golden morning. The yellow color symbolizes a shift in perspective. No longer driven by competition, struggle, or the need to compare with others, a person with a yellow soul finds satisfaction within themselves. It's a state of being where the world around seems less significant, as one starts living within themselves. Think of it as entering a meditative state. In the red soul phase, one is filled with love, where the self diminishes and others become important. The yellow soul takes it a step further. In this tranquil state, neither the self nor others hold prominence. Everything becomes calm, akin to the serene stillness of meditation. Picture this yellow state as a calm, silent, undisturbed color, much like pure gold. It lacks the excitement of red, but exudes a quiet brilliance. The red color represents the initial excitement, the first stage of this spiritual journey. Just as the sunrise gradually turns into the calmness of the golden morning, the yellow soul signifies a profound shift towards inner peace and a state of meditative tranquility. It's a stage where the boundaries between self and others fade away and a serene, undisturbed calmness prevails. Now the final stage of the soul's journey, the white soul. Picture the serene moment when the yellow soul, like the setting sun, disperses and merges into a state of pure calmness. It's like the evening spreading after the sun has set, a tranquil, undisturbed state devoid of excitement. This state of pure tranquility is known as samadhi. In the evening, as the sun sets and night begins to unfold, there is a moment when everything becomes calm. It's during this time that all colors seem to blend into a pure, white essence. This white state signifies the culmination of the soul's journey from the mind's perspective. Consider it as the final stage of the mind, the white soul. It represents the thinnest veil remaining, soon to be lost. It is a state of ultimate purity and tranquility, where all the colors, thoughts, and excitement dissolve into a serene white canvas. Just like the evening unfolding after the sun sets, the white soul embodies a timeless, tranquil state, the pinnacle of the mind's evolution. In this moment, all agitation subsides, and the soul experiences the pure essence of existence. As we conclude this journey through the vibrant tapestry of soul colors, the question lingers, did you discover your soul's unique hue? Remember, the journey towards self-discovery is a profound one. Each color from the dark black to the serene white represents a stage in our spiritual growth. It's an intricate dance between ego and selflessness, excitement and tranquility. In the midst of life's challenges, uncertainties and joys, may you find inspiration in the vibrant spectrum of your own soul. Embrace the lessons each color imparts, 
for it is through self-awareness that we embark on a journey towards genuine happiness and fulfillment. Take a moment to reflect on your own soul's colors. What resonates with you? Share your thoughts, insights, and the color you connect with in the comments below. Your journey may inspire others on their quest for self-discovery. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. Spread the colors of inspiration, love, and self-discovery. Let's create a ripple effect of positive energy, supporting one another on this beautiful journey called life. May your soul's palette be filled with the vibrant hues of love, kindness, and inner peace. Happy exploring.